everybody, this is Optimus 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. <clears throat> Yesterday Dad and I decided to watch The Crimson Wing, uh, which was a film done by Disney Nature and it considers the uh, flamingos in uh, <clears throat> Tanzania. And it's actually really unusual how, <laughs> how they arrive at the island, they, they always come back to the same place. They, they go to a reserve in um, Tanzania and then they return back to this salt island that is made due to the volcano spewing up its ash and it, it creates this a sodium carbonate. And it's all very enigmatic in the way that it happens. It's, it's just um, very fascinating, I thought. And um, I learned quite a bit about flamingos in watching this uh, documentary. And if you're a fan of nature documentaries, I would highly recommend it. It's just absolutely beautiful. And in high def, it's just <laughs> it's just incredible, especially the color on the, the male flamingos. The males are taller than the hens are. Um, I'm not sure what you call a male flamingo. I know that they call the babies chicks, so I, I would think that they would have uh, another name. I'm uh, sure that a flock of flamingos has a, a specific name in and of itself, like a, a group of penguins on land is called a waddle. That's just trivial information. But um, as far as movies are concerned, I really enjoyed this, and I thought that it was um, exceptionally done. Uh, I didn't answer a lot of questions. I don't. I don't think scientists really understand um, how flamingos work, uh, well, let alone any animal in migratory paths or anything like that. It's just um, instinct. They they seem to know where they need to be and where they need to go, and um, all of those intrinsic factors that keep them alive. And uh, I revealed a lot of their predators, so I wasn't um, aware that mong mongoose, or is the plural of mongoose mongoose? I'm not sure. Mongoose, I'll just say mongoose, for lack of better information. Uh, mongoose will eat uh, flamingos, uh, babies of course, not, not the big ones. The big ones can uh, fly away. And there are um, marabou storks that also eat the eggs, and I thought, oh, they're <laughs> Ovipores. I, I was it. I thought, hmm. I didn't think that they would do that, but they do, and they they also will eat the well. They strangle the chicks. It didn't didn't look like they ate them. I think they do, but they won't show that on camera because it's a Disney film. Now, if it were nature, well, they show all the gory details on nature. <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to uh, have viewer discrimin discrimination involved if you're a parent and you're going to let your child watch uh, nature. <laughs> on PBS, but if it's this denature, it, it'll be okay, and they, they won't be traumatized by it, even if uh, they see the the chicks with the salt shackles around their legs, and it seems to be, uh, the like uh, the narrator says, it's just the luck of the draw uh, that some of the chicks will be uh, shackled, so to speak, with these uh, formations of salt, and around their ankles and their beaks and just their whole bodies. It, it just becomes encrusted and it becomes sort of like a, a fetter. They can't get it off. It's it's weird. But um, not all of them will develop those. It, it just, I guess some of them just have that happen and it's not really certain as to why or what the purpose is. But um, sadly, those chicks often get left behind. They can't keep up with the flock, so they just I guess they just die of heat exhaustion, which is really sad, but it's intriguing that um, that river itself, it, it, it uh, takes upon this uh, lake of fire, and it's uh, I think it's because of the, um, the chemicals that are around it, and uh, it's, it's all very um, magical in a way. It's just really unbelievable. It's just... Um, Magnificent. Of course, I've always been fascinated by um, cycles in nature, and, and this this shows just how cyclical nature is in and of itself, and it's just really beautiful. And I give it two thumbs up and five stars. 
it's really impressive and it's even more gorgeous and high def and I would recommend it for that and the sound quality is uh, astounding. Um, the narrator I wasn't really familiar with but she did a really good job and my dad was making fun of her accent. I said, Dad, stop it, she's British, don't do that. But um, it's just pronunciation. Sometimes we yanks over here, we like to tease you Brits about the way you pronounce certain words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you make fun of us too, so tit for tat, right? Um, <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed it, and it was very educational, and the, uh, the very last uh, scene poses a question that I'm hoping that won't get answered negatively. And I won't reveal what that is, but if you've, if you've seen the film, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you have a chance to view it, then do so, because I highly recommend it. And it's just a beautiful film, especially since um, Earth Day's come and gone. And I think Arbor Day just happened, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it did. Um, but anyway, that's uh, another good choice to have on your list if you haven't seen it yet. And um, it's... Uh, it's very enjoyable and I think all families can enjoy it and just uh, learn something from it and as well as become truly acquainted with these animals because I didn't know that they did these certain things and they're just uh, really fascinating creatures and just beautiful and I can see why the phoenix was uh, inspired by this animal because they truly are gorgeous birds and just <laughs> fabulous and, and the every sh way shape and form this truly a um, <clears throat> a bird that gives inspiration and I think everything in, in um, nature does that. <laughs> That's basically all I have to say about the Crimson Wing and if you have a chance to see it um, you can get it anywhere and it's um, very uh, it's not too um, pricey if you get it on eBay, that's probably the best way to purchase it. So, uh, if you have a chance to see it, then do it because I endorse it. <laughs>